Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to get 5 kills in 1 life with a baseball bat 3 times nice and easily in Black Ops 6. But quickly before we do get into today's video guys, if you are new around right here, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to not miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up and let me know if you've got any more questions in the comments below and I will do my very best to answer them for you guys. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is going to be our loadout and then the game mode that I would recommend playing that I personally was playing to get this done. So what I would do guys is go ahead and make my loadout and this is exactly what I ran to get my baseball bat finished. I was running smoke grenades for my tacticals because you can play on some of the maps I'm about to show you. You can throw them into the middle of the map which gives you a bunch of cover so you can get towards the enemy spawn and then just start playing in their rooms that way. Lethal's up to whatever you want to run. Field upgrade, I would run scrap. Field upgrade, I would run Scrambler because once you do get this, your enemies aren't going to see you on the minimap. We're going to have Ghost as our first perk, so if they do pop UAVs, they're still not going to be able to find you. Tracker, so we can then see if any enemies have run near us in the last couple of seconds, and you can see what direction they've gone in. And then Double Time, as it's going to lay to Tactical Sprint for longer. And then I also run the Tactical Expert for my wildcard, so it gives us an extra smoke because these are going to be very, very useful for getting this challenge completed. And then for the gamer, guys, I actually done mine in Nuketown 24-7 on core with the baseball bat. And you can see right now what is a bunch of gameplay on screen right now of me running about with a baseball bat. You can see how slow I was playing this, right? I used my smokes to get across from my building to their building. I then used the smokes to cover me, get across, and then go and play upstairs in their building. Sometimes come downstairs if I know there's a free kill down there, depending on what I was doing. But I was playing super, super slow. I wasn't trying to chase kills. I wasn't trying to chase after anything. If spawns flipped, I still wasn't trying to get back across the map without my smoke grenades i would just wait until spawns flipped once again and then the enemies are in my building and when i first started off using the baseball bat i thought oh, i'll jump into stake out and get this done quickly oh i'll jump into nuketown and just run about and get this done quickly the baseball bat doesn't work like that it's just not gonna work you aren't gonna be able to do it like that you just really need to play slow play ratty playing camping corners camping certain buildings as you can see i'm playing upstairs in the nuketown every time i was getting a kill i'd slightly change where i was stood waiting for them to come back into the room so they didn't predict me being there and then every time they come into the room after you've killed them once or twice they don't have a clue where you're gonna be so you can be stood in all kinds of different areas which is going to throw your opponents off, which is going to make it much easier for you to get those five kills in a row without dying. Then, of course, you can either go ahead and get 10 kills without dying if you want to, and that's going to count as two. And if you can get 15 without dying, you can do it that way. But what I was doing most of the time, guys, was getting my five kills, taking a couple of deaths, and then actually going to get another five kills. Also, one thing I would recommend that I done in this, I'd get my five kills and then just go and tank my KD for the rest of the game. Because the reason is, if I've got a lobby that's botty enough for me to get a Bloodthirsty with the baseball bat in a game, if my KD is then bad in that game. The next game I go into is going to be even easier. So I do exactly the same thing. I then load into that next game, get another bloodthirsty, tank my KD for the rest of the game. Just keep letting them kill me over and over and over again. Drop myself down into an even lower skilled lobby, get that final bloodthirsty done, and then you are going to have the baseball bat with dark matter on it. But hopefully today's video has helped you out, guys. If it has, please be sure to smash a thumbs up. It does help me out way more than you can imagine. Let me know if you've got any more questions in the comments below, and I'll do my very best to answer them for you guys. And if you're not really subscribed to the channel notifications turn on, please make sure you do go ahead and do that for all the best camo guides in Black Ops. Six, but I appreciate you watching all day. Tend to be an amazing rest of the day, and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.